Michaela Chester here for NCAA Digital. I am joined by Lauren Chamberlain today, the NCAA home run record holder, 95 bombs in your career, Lauren. Now, obviously, we've got Jocelyn Allo on the verge of breaking it. I, I want to take you back to your collegiate career. Um, you know, you, you broke it with a grand slam. There's no better way to do it. Can you take us through what you remember in those moments leading up to it? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's so funny. Like, <laughs> I've been thinking, I've had to think about this for a couple of weeks now, like, man, like all these memories are coming back. Um, I can tell you specifically the at bat before I broke the record on that grand slam, I struck out looking. That was a, that's a fun part of that memory. <laughs> I was, um, oh, I didn't know if they were going to pitch to me who like, cause everybody was kind of holding out. They didn't want to be the one that gave up the record, but I remember they were throwing it right down the middle and I took every pitch and, and, I remember specifically hearing like, they're going to throw to you today. Like they're, they're ready to go. We're going to throw to you. And so, that, oh, that was fun. But yeah, there's just a, the pressure, the, the moment. It was all cool. I just remember that big sigh of relief when it, when it finished. Um, and so I'm excited for Jocelyn to just get it and just <laughs> hit that pitch and, and, and be able to kind of deep breath and, and let it out and then just go do her thing the rest of the season. Yeah. Take that burden off of her exactly. shoulders. Exactly. So much anticipation leading up to it for you. You've held it for a long time now. What are your thoughts and emotions now as Jocelyn, a fellow Sooner, somebody who you have a personal relationship with is so close to breaking it? And most importantly, what does it mean to you that it is Jocelyn and a fellow Sooner that's going to keep that record in the family? Yeah. And and I knew when it happened that I, I broke someone's record. I broke Stacey Newman's record and that was for 13 years that stood and I knew that once I did it, someone was going to be right behind me and break that record. So records are meant to be broken. That's just the name of the game. Um, and it means it's a good thing. It means that the sport is growing and we're moving in a positive direction. Now, the fact that it's Jocelyn makes it a lot easier because <laughs> I love her. She wears the Sooner jersey. It, it's just a family. It keeps it in the family. Um, and it means that OU softball just keeps getting stronger and stronger. So it's there's no it's hard. It's, it's not bittersweet. It, it's like, I'm just pride. It's a lot of pride, um, in Jocelyn and my team in, in softball. It's, it's all good things. So good feelings this way for sure. Yeah. And plus the pure comedy on Twitter. I mean, she's hits a grand <laughs> slam to open the season four home runs one oh, game. Yeah. And you're like, I'm happy for you, but relax. I know. I know. I always have to poke fun. I'm like, Hey, anybody else need any extra like autographs or anything <laughs> like, before this goes? And, no, it's been so fun. It's, it, it's nice to, to make light of it and poke fun and, and, um, and that she's doing it so early in the season. It's like, get this done, get this over with. So you can really enjoy your, your senior year, your true senior year and go. Thinking back on that time in your life, you know, you mentioned four amazing years playing college softball, the emotions, the memories, breaking the record, the kind of stuff that you cherish forever. Does it give you chills thinking about her getting to experience it firsthand now, what you went through? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It just, and not, not only for the good things, but just the growth that you experience in college. Like there's just so many things happen on the field, off the field. Um, you learn so much about yourself in those, those years, uh, and to just have witnessed it firsthand, her growth from freshman year on and, and just the conversations that we're having now, um, the types of things that are important to her now, what she's looking forward to. Um, it's just cool to see. And you feel it when you're there, but you don't really fully understand the scope of it until you're outside of it and you see somebody else going through the same thing. So I've got to ask, at what point in Jocelyn's career did you know your record was going? Did You knew it was her? Right, right away. Right away. No, it was just, I just knew. And I had had conversations with Coach Gasso and I had seen her a little bit in the media when Jocelyn showed up. It was like, she's real deal. Like she's going to be the, the future of this program. Um, she's here and she's going to make, you know, do some damage and then talking with coach specifically on it. And she was like, no, like this is, she's going to really be able to carry on that legacy of that, that power hitter, that home run hitter for, for OU. So, um, I knew it pretty early on. So I've, I've had some time to mentally come to terms <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and really be like, okay, this is going to happen. Um, yeah, she's just been on a tear. It's been so fun. So that leads me to my next question. What is it about Jocelyn and you, I know you've mentioned that you two have really similar personalities, but what is it about you and her that allows you to achieve something so incredible? I assume it takes a little bit more than physical ability. Oh, yeah, I, it's just that hunger. She's got that hunger, something inside that wants to be the best. And, and, you know, I remember going up to the, 
to the record myself and being like, if I finished second, like that's just not good enough. And I, I know she feels the same way. It's like, if I, I have a mission and my mission is to beat this and, and, and go, um, she's, she's got that, that hunger inside. She also has perspective. So at the end of the day, she's a leader on her team and they're going to do anything they can to win. So when you've got two, two of those things, you've got your hunger and then you've also got just bigger picture perspective. Um, it, it makes your task a lot easier and you can hunt it down a lot quicker. He said it makes it easier that it's Jocelyn, you know, you're rocking the Allo jersey at, at the yep. College World Series, all of that. But what was your relationship like with her all along and how much closer has it made you with her on the verge of breaking it? Yeah, I, when she came in, it's obviously like, yes, you, you know, you're going to be really good. This is exciting. I don't even know who you are. Right. And you're like, I'm going to root for you because I'm a, I'm a sooner and, right. um, you know, I'll support you no matter what, as we went on and just seeing what she was capable of and, and just the path that she was forging for herself, I knew we were going to meet up at the end. Like I knew that this was going to come, this whole thing was going to happen. So when you start to, when you witness a player like that, and I'm getting chills right now talking about it, when you witness a player like that and you see the similarities between your journeys, you just gravitate towards each other because again, nobody understands the moment like each other, like the, like the two of you. So you just form this bond, whether you want to or not. Um, and then, you know, personally seeing our, our similarities just in our regular life outside of softball and, you know, just our sense of humor, or what we think is funny and, and how we operate and, and how we are as friends. I mean, it's, it's just, I literally feel like I'm like watching like a version of myself. Um, but it's been again, so cool to see her write her own story, um, you know, Jocelyn's way and her create her own narrative and not have to fill in anybody's shoes because she's creating her own pair. So it's really cool. It's been yeah. awesome. It gives me the chills just hearing you talk about it. So I can't imagine what you're <laughs> feeling, but go back to when you broke it. I remember interviews, you were saying, you know, it was somewhat of a burden because yeah. it was, it was so much front and center on your mind. And when you finally broke it, you were able to relax those shoulders. So what conversations, if any, did you have with Jocelyn as you were the only one that she knows that's gone through this? Yeah, I, I think the big the big thing for me, I remember when I was going through it was that you're not the, I'm not the only one going through it. Like if what I feel, yes, because it's just a singular feeling like that's something personally that I'm going through, but at the same time, your team's going through it with you, your coaching staff's going through it with you, your university. Um, but specifically your teammates are having to deal with this story over and over and over again, or they're having to deal with, um, you know, someone's wearing a GoPro in the dugout because they have to capture the moment at the plate, or, you know, someone has to walk around a cameraman because they're in your face during practice. So there's just certain, there's a certain level of, um, and I want to get this done. Like, I just want to get this over with so that my teammates can move on. So we can just focus on what's really important. And that's winning a national championship. Right. Um, so I, it, as much as it's a burden on us and the player and, and what I went through and what Jocelyn's going through, it's also just everybody around that has to deal with it. So um, again, it's, it's getting that burden off of yourself, but also taking it off of the team. So if you, you know, add that extra layer of pressure of, let me just get this thing done so that we can move on. I want to talk about being another Oklahoma player to break it. And just the fact that that trend could continue this home run hitting legacy that Patty Gasso is building over there. I mean, Tiari Jennings was just the, she was second in home runs last year behind Olo. I mean, what would it mean for it to stay at Oklahoma? Do you think the trend continues? Oh yeah. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not, because it, you know, there's just such a powerful statement that coach makes with who she recruits and who keeps showing up at OU and, and the continued success that they have. What I think is so cool. And this is an angle that I don't think many people are really talking about is um, coach McKay and then JT Gasso. So coach McKay was my um, hitting coach when I was at OU and we had a certain philosophy and we had, um, you know, it was down pat what, what the goal was. And then coach JT Gasso comes in and that, you know, Patty's son, um, comes in and, and has a different approach. Um, but it still works. So it was kind of cool to see the two styles of hitting, um, the two approaches, uh, be very successful in both ways. So it's fun to kind of say, okay, like it, it's, it's, it has to do a little less with the physical and a little more with like the mental and who, 
who's giving the message, who's receiving the message. So powerful coaching staff, powerful players all on the same page. So as long as they continue to do that, they're going to be, they're going to be great. Well, Lauren, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon.